ever. Anyway, welcome to the first ever stream. And uh, I don't know how this is going to work. So, yeah. Is it working? Am I streaming live or not? I don't know. I don't know if I'm streaming live, am I? This is the first time I've done this. So, yeah. Uh, I am bringer of funerals. I do YouTube videos every now and again. And, well, it's quite funny. Because I don't know whether I don't know what to talk about. So this is just a basic stream. And um, yeah, I am using uh, Canva Fi Live, which is a streaming service built on my mobile. Because as you all know, YouTube took away the streaming feature for people that were below a thousand subscribers. Which is stupid. So yes. Uh, hello and welcome to the stream you one viewer. And how are you doing? Uh, I've been hearing mixed reports on Boris Johnson. People are confused. They are saying that people can go outside in groups of your own family members. But stay in six foot apart. But then another statement is saying some people can go to work, but not others. It's like, where do you draw the line? What would you want to do? I am holding my mobile like this. So, yeah. Um... As you can tell, I am new at this. But, um, let's see what happens if I press this. Uh, it says there is no chat history. So, yeah, well, at least I am doing a stream. At least it says I am doing a stream anyway. So, yeah. The, um, to be honest, I don't really know what to talk about. But, while I've been in lockdown, I have been doing, watching a lot of films. I have watched, is that exciting to I can't even remember. A Hero Said Not East, which is a John Woo War film. And well, yeah. It wasn't bad, it was basically an army full of Rambos. <laughs> it was quite gory and violent. Uh, actually, let's see while I'm here. I have watched... Uh, I'll actually just show you some of them. He was said no tears. Uh, Cannibal Ferox. I've watched a few things on Netflix too, by the way. So, I'll just, uh, two minutes, put the phone down. So, I've watched here. The Ring 2. And the original ring, this is the Kletchi edition by the way. So this is what I've been watching. And then I've been watching stuff on Netflix, like um, Kickboxer by Van Damme. 
and stuff like that. I might do a haul stream one day where I just show my entire DVD and Blu-ray collection and I'm thinking about watching this next. I haven't seen this yet, so it's cinema. But yeah, no one quite knows what's going on at the minute. The entire UK is in turmoil. And there's no Susie Lou drama to cover. So I figured out I might as well do a quick stream. See how we go. See if we do any well. See if we do any good. And, well, yeah. I don't think I'm going to get any viewers, but what do you think? I could do a stream where I show my DVD. Uh, show my DVD, uh, DVDs off and Blu-rays. TV box sets, UFC DVDs, you name it, like it used to back in the old days, back in 2007. Yes, I've been doing YouTube since 2007, and it's... I thought I'd give it a new channel a go, just to see how hard it is nowadays from when it was back in 2007. I have noticed the monetization has changed. It used to be a thousand subscribers, which is looking back, it was quite easy to do. Whereas now it's four thousand hours watch time and a thousand subscribers. Uh, yeah, think so. Yeah. I think it's still a thousand subscribers. But you have to get four thousand hours watch time. And I only know it by that. But nowadays when we're getting old, you know the uh the Is that better? Yes, when we're getting old, you know, I don't know anymore. So yeah, uh, the reason I've moved from the big picture is because I don't want to dark in the, in the picture, but it's that fucking big, I can't really not hide it, look at that, <laughs> hang on, I'll turn the camera over, there, shall I that? No, I mean. that's taking a piss, isn't it? This is just a basic camera screen, by the way. There's going to be no fancy editing because well, I really can't edit. I'll be honest with you. So yeah, if you've got any, let's see if you can see if, if I'm in the. Light section of this. So I'm curious, curiosity. Live now, live animals, live dream, mobile live dreams. There. Members only chat. Look at that one there. 1,000 people watching.
And, well... I need to forget like 40 people watching. That would still quite good for me. So yeah. And it says I'm live on my channel anyway, so that's all that matters really. So what I'll do is I'll show my DVDs and blue laser. I might actually do it um, self by self because I got loads And um, this won't be any particular order, these are just the order that's on myself. So yeah, I might actually drop it over. So I'm not looking at the same DVDs over and over and over. Old fashioned way. I won't read all the back because it'll be pretty boring. So we have got the detonator, which is a straight to DVD film by Wesley Snipes. The case is completely fucked because you got it from the charity shop. State of that case. Luckily, the DVD inside is alright. So, yeah. Even stinks of smoke. Uh, we've got the Great Silence. Is that better? And then the side. It'd be better if I like wound it up somewhere. So it there we go like that. There. Push that to that, and then we got stand. The side. Temper. 
Right. And then there's the two discs. And then I got the Walt Disney Treasures, Mickey Mouse in Living Colour. Inside two discs. Then next we got Dario Gento's Distendal Syndrome. There's loads in these arrow sets. Then after that we've got the Up and Smoke Tour which is Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem and Ice Tube. This was before 50 Cent got signed. And then we've got a Cradle of Filth film starring Danny Filth, Cradle of Fear. Which was a low budget straight to DVD film. And then we've got another straight to DVD film, Savate. Most of these are from the charity shop and then the interpreter True Grit which is the remake of the John Wayne film Yes, some lovely artwork on there. Taken, the Liam Neeson film that made him into an action star. The Sixth Day. Alan Schwarzenegger. Godzilla 2000, I actually got this from America, this one. And then an uh, Indian film, ABCD, Anybody Can Dance. There's no booklets or anything in that one. That's quite disappointing. The afternoon sequel uh, that Disney produced. King Boxer. The 36 Chamber of Sowling. Which was a great Kung Fu film. The Goods, the original one, not the remake. The Gods 2 This was the two discs she did in this I got this when a shop was going out of business 
for 50p. The Scarfing King. This is a Kung Fu film. Gun Justice, which is a Mill Creek TV set, and you've got 17 episodes of the 1949 The Lone Ranger, 15 episodes of the 1938 Lone Ranger, 4 episodes of the Cisco Kid, 3 episodes of the Gabby Hayes Show, 3 episodes of the Adventures of Kit Carson. Two episodes of the Roy Rogers show, four episodes of An Annie Oakley, one episode of Judge Roy Bean, and one episode of Cowboy Demon. And inside, you can get in, they're all usual Mill Creek lot, just like that, inside. Now next is Tron. This is a two disc edition. And Tron Legacy. Next is the Godzilla collection. There's the cardboard box. And inside, you've got the original Japanese Godzilla. I'll take these out, that'll be easier. The original Japanese Godzilla. Godzilla the remake and Godzilla Rage again and Mothra vs Godzilla The reason I took them out is because I dropped it and the spindle smashed Next is Godzilla, the three headed, uh, Ghidorah, so to say, the three headed monster. Inversion of Astro Monster and our monsters attack. And Terror of Mecha Godzilla. Next is the Bruce Lee, the 30th Anniversary Collection. And inside, you get a book. With black and white photos, sepia tone photos, and you name it. The Big Boss, Fist of Fury, and the 30th. So there's the Big Boss. The 30th Anniversary Disc, Special Features, and Fist of Fury.
and then you got weighted dragon game of death disc one and two which is special features and that's it that's it. so inside it looks like that with a magnetic case next is executioner from Shaolin martial arts of Shaolin Mad Monkey Kung Fu and five master five Shaolin Masters. The Midnight Horror Collection Volume 6, for some reason this one's dead cheap so this is the only one I've got and inside they come double like that and on this you have Night of the Living Dead the original 1968 version The Fear Chamber Hindsight Razor Eaters Cruel World Pastor Dwarf Darkness, Matt and Lost Souls and it's just labelled out like that. Really. Yeah. Next is Django Collection with six films. And here, this one and this two. So it's like three films in its disc. And this one, you've got a man called Django, Django the Runner, Hanging for Django, Django Bullet for You, Return of Django, and Pistol for Django. Then this one, I've got volume two. Which is again the same. And on this you've got ten thousand dollars for Django, Django defies Sartana, Django kills silently, Django the Avenger, kill Django kill first, and Django adios. Now I'm guessing most of these are Django films. The next one is Girls Guns and G Strings. Which is 12 films. Then get in, I'll show you. They just come like that. And then this, you've got the Dallas Connection, Day After Warrior, Do or Die, Enemy Gold, Fit to Kill, Guns, Hard Hunted, Hard Ticket to Hawaii, Malibu Express. Picasso Trigger, Return to Shafford's Beats, and Shafford's Beats. So we've got Blood Brothers, Return of the One Armed Swordsman. Yeah, I've got a slip cover too. Exactly the same. Uh, 
one arm swordsman. You got little the eight diagram pole fighter. and the slip cover Return of the Deadly Five Venoms Return of the Five Deadly Venoms also known as Triple Avengers Return to the first sixth chamber. The cycle to the first sixth chamber. Come drunk with me. It's got a little connection on again. He was of the east. The five deadly venoms. The ring. The ring two. My young auntie. Golden Swallow Flying Guillotine Flying Guillotine 2 If there is anything that you'd like me to look at closer I will tell you more about it The Avenging Eagle Killer Clans
the special limited edition of Battle Royale. Now, in here we have shitloads of marketing gear. Let's all get it all out now. Two booklets. There's special features disc. The director's cut of the film. And the theatrical cut of the film, which is what Titan Age Extreme released. The problem with this edition is the last one it has to get out and then it tells you there on the side what it looks like what's in that particular section. Get Rich or Die Trying 50 cent film Pirates of the Caribbean, The Courage of the Black Pearl Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest Cannibal Ferox He was shed no tears Return to Neverland And finally Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the two disc edition There we go So I will just tidy all of this up. So what do you think? Uh, that's just one shelf. I have got loads of other shelves to show, but I'll do that another day. So yeah, I'll just put them in in any order. They come through once and put them together. But, uh, right, hang on. Right, I put the box set like that, see?
So yeah. Have you done them? Yeah. Did you manage to get them done? Yeah. I thought. I'm not on there, am I? Yeah. It's just so people knew how, how it looked. Uh. Right, I'll just do it like that, it doesn't really matter at the minute. And then, like that there. So there we go, so thank you for watching. And please join me again for another video at some point. So thank you, and bye.